Hello, thanks so much for joining me. I recently switched from a traveler's notebook to a ring bound planner. I've been working on the setup for about the last month and I think I'm finally in a place where I'm happy enough to do a flip through. So that's what I'm gonna do today. As a quick aside, this is my first video on an actual camcorder and not just my phone. And I'm using a classic tripod and I'm sure I have it set up in just the worst, most awkward way possible. So apologies for that. And um, also if you have any tips or suggestions for a better way to do this, uh, please share below. I would love to read them. All right, let's get to it. So this is a Vanderspeck Touch Me in the color noir and the standard or personal size. It is a beautiful, squishy, floppy, pebbly leather. Um, I was a little nor nervous <laughs> ordering it because I do like a floppy leather in a traveler's notebook. I wasn't sure what my preferences were for a ring bound, but uh, so far so good. Okay, so um, first of all, I keep my pen just clipped to the rings. My pen of choice is a Pilot G2 in 0.38, and it is too large for my pen loops here. So that works well enough. On the left here I have a zipper pocket and inside all I keep in it right now is a little pad of post-it uh, sticky tabs and they're what I use for my side tabs. I have a slip pocket over here as well and in that I keep a set of Peanuts Planner Co. daily sticky notes. They have the hours on the left, the tasks on the right, and I find them really useful for if I have a particularly busy day because I usually just use a week on one page in here. So there's not a ton of room and for the most part that's enough for me, but if I do need a little more, I have those to pop in there. Uh, clip to the front, I have a couple Ollie clips holding in just a piece of scrapbook paper from um, you know the loose leaf at Michael's. Then I have a little kitty die cut here. It was a freebie from a must plan meow order. In the secretarial pocket over here, I just have a little um, bit of like cardstock that I've stuck a Planner Society pocket in on. And I just keep a couple pictures of me and my husband and then some other sappy stuff on there. In the front here, I have a piece of vellum from Hobby Lobby. And then I have a set of really pretty dividers from My Pretty Week. Uh, these are unlaminated cardstock but I did take some heatless laminating sheets and stick them to the tabs to better protect them. The way I do my dividers and tabs is I have five main sections which I use my top tabs for and then um, each of them have subsections which I mark off with those sticky tabs. So first is my personal section and first up in there I have this uh, recurring tasks insert from Peanuts Planner Co. This is probably one of my favorite inserts. I think it's very versatile and I use it for several different things. First I use it for my monthly bills. Then um, my personal appointment and other stuff <laughs> tracker. So I use it for making sure I go to the dentist every year, uh, for keeping track of taxes, or making sure I file them. Um, updating my car registration, that sort of stuff. I also have one for my cat, for her annual vet appointment, her flea meds, and changing her litter. And finally, I use it for birthdays. Up next is the uh, categorized list insert, also from Peanuts Planner Co. It comes in a three and five column version. I use both for different things. This one is an online order tracker. Um, I use the three columns for the date I ordered something, the uh, date it's supposed to be delivered, and then I check off when it actually is. And I kind of tab this sheet, particularly because I'm flipping to it a lot, especially this time of year, with a little uh, palm clip from Scheduled Planners. And I just have a little spare. This is from a set of uh, dashboards that I made for my pocket traveler's notebook when I was in a pocket. 
I made them shortly before I switched to a B6 and I was so sad because I put a lot of thought and effort into them. But since moving into a ring bound, I've been able to just split them and punch them and I can still see them every day again. So that's been very nice. For my weekly, like I mentioned, I use a week on one page and I use a couple different similar inserts from 8 Lotus. Uh, this is the weekly overview and then I also use the weekly plan. Both have a schedule for the week and I like just an overview of my like obligations and appointments and meetings things like that. Uh, both have a notes section which I use to put my weekly habit tracker. Um, I have one for cleaning the litter box and one for hobbying which is usually plannering uh, as well as weekly dinner planning. Both have a weekly to-do list and both have a top three either goals or priorities for the week. The difference is that the plan has a larger schedule section, whereas the overview instead has this little box called inspiration. Uh, some people I've seen put washi in there or stickers. I personally use it for just like a weekly inspirational motivating quote. Uh, sometimes I like that, but sometimes if I need more room, it's nice to be able to switch off. And then at the end of my personal section, I have this uh, freebie printable from the Peanuts Planner Co. Facebook group. It is a very pretty, um, I think it might be called Christmas Lined, Christmas Grid, something like that. And I'm using the other side to keep track of my uh, holiday travel info. So like my flight itinerary and confirmation number, and then any plans I've made during that trip. And then this side I use as a um, list of things I need to do before that trip. All right, and this is my work section. That's another one of those dashboards. This is a dashboard I made in Canva and just print it off. Um, this is another freebie printable from Peanuts Planner Co. It's actually part of a whole set of like a um, month on two pages for each month. I just wanted this one bit of it though because I do my monthly in another way, which I'll go over in a little bit. But I uh, bill my work hours monthly and my plan is to try and use this for that purpose in 2019. Um, in my traveler's notebook in which I used a bullet journal for my weeklies, uh, I tracked them in my weeklies. I obviously don't really have space for that in here anymore and so this is my plan. We'll see how that goes. Um, I use the five column version of that categorized task list from Peanuts Planner Co. for my work running task list. The nature of my work is very um, not super deadline driven. Particularly I have a lot of tasks that are ongoing or they get passed, and passed back and forth between people so I'll do something and I get to take it off my plate and then it comes back to me. Um, or there are things that get passed over week to week. And this is just an easier way for me to make sure I have everything in one place, nothing gets lost. I'm not constantly moving things over or forgetting to move something over. And the way I use this is I have uh, five categories. Important, which are high priority tasks, get done, lower priority, uh, contact waiting, upcoming. Upcoming are things that I know I will have to do but are not on my plate yet. So it's just nice to be able to keep my eye on the horizon there. If something has a deadline, I put it at the far left here. And I use open circles for open tasks. I fill them when a task is completed. And I just write a line through anything that gets canceled or I no longer need to do for whatever reason. Uh, next, I have another one of those dashboards and then my work notes. And I just use um, Peanuts Winter Co. Plain Freebie Grid for that. And finally, I also use her work trip planner. Um, I travel for work about half a dozen times a year. And this is a neat insert because it has a big task list. I can put my schedule for the trip. Then the itinerary, packing list, and a little notes section. So that'll be handy. Next, I have my hobbies section. This is just a little dashboard that I did my best on. <laughs> then I have um, the YouTube and blog planner. It might be called the social media planner, but it's from Annie Plans Printables. 
Um, I use it the same one for both my YouTube and my blog. And another nice thing about the ring bound is that since I can pop sheets in and out and move them around, um, when I need more space, for example, I'm working on a or planning a what's in my work bag video. If I need a little extra note space, I can just add in a notes page, which I did. And then the same for my blog, which is not planner related, but same inserts. Then I have my cat section. This is my beautiful pearl. It's just a picture of her that I printed off and glued to other scrap of paper, probably also from Michael's. I have a little note sheet here that I can write any questions I have for my vet or things that I learn in a, at an appointment or things like that. And then I use the Peanuts Planner Co. Health Log to track all of her um, vaccinations, medications, procedures, tests, all that sort of thing. I also write down her weight every time they weigh her. Uh, this I just recently made and have found super useful, or I'm looking forward to using it. Um, usually I do bring her... I have a little folder of like all of her vet records that I bring to every appointment, but sometimes um, I need a specific bit of information and it's so much easier to be able to just reference this list than to have to, you know, sift through all of her records in the room. Uh, this is especially valuable for me because I do move every like couple years. So Pearl and her history is constantly getting introduced to new veterinarians. And uh, just recently I was asked if she was updated on one of her vaccines like a couple months ago. And I thought she was, but it took me several minutes to look through all of her records to know. So now I have it and I know, and I color code it so all of her vaccines are one color, it's easy to reference, that sort of thing. So yeah, highly recommend that. And then I just have some extras. Um, and then I mark it with this little cat clip from Amazon. And finally I have my miscellaneous uh, section. I have my list notes and projects back here. Lists are just things like, these are mostly, um, I don't really use these as to-do lists. They're more like running reference lists. Uh, this is the checklist insert from Peanuts Planner Co. So I have like recipes that I discover and like and want to make again, uh, books I want to read, movies I want to see, that sort of thing. I have a note section for personal stuff as a not work related. And then finally I have the Peanuts Planner Co. Project Planner. And this I'll use for a variety of things. If I have a work project, I'll put one in the work section. Same with like a hobby related project like to YouTube or blog. So um, yeah, I thought that was pretty handy too. Finally I have, this was a B6 Traveler's Notebook Dashboard from Jameson Reed Designs. Uh, I was not using it in my B6, so I cut it down and punched it, and I use it in here instead. And then I have a couple pads of sticky notes on the back. All right, in this back secretarial pocket, I have just some sticker samplers, and then those are the stickers from Must Plan Meow that came with, or that included the um, die cut up front. Another couple bits of scrap of paper and um, a really lovely postcard that came with my my pretty weak uh, divider order. I'm sorry, I keep bumping this, I think. All right, I have six card pockets in the back. I have two of my business cards or uh, two sections of business cards. I have other people's business cards. I have my AAA, a little like keychain card in there just in case. And then I have a couple stickers f that came as freebies with uh, Shakespeare orders. And finally, this is a die cut from Danny's Planner Cuties. I know it's for November, but I just love it, so I keep it in there. I'm considering trying to like cut that off so I can use it again. But for now, I just cover it up with those. And last but not least, um, the Vanderspeck Touch Me Line does come with this big back pocket. That was really exciting to me because previously to this I was using the Foxy Fix Spice Traveler's Notebook. And that whole line comes with the big back pocket and that um, I really got used to and I really wanted it in my ring bound as well. 
what I use this for is um, I can stick back here just any pieces of paper that I want to kind of keep tabs on so like bills that need to be paid or when I have a doctor's appointment and they give me you know a printed out reminder I stuff that back there things like that I don't have anything in here currently of that nature but I, what's nifty is oops I can fit back here um, this is a little monthly notebook. I had it in my traveler's notebook. This is the reason I don't have a punched uh, monthly in here. It is from, it's like the Maker's Orange, yeah, Orange Circle Studio. They have new ones at, you know, Office Max, Office Depot now. This is actually a 2018 version, but I stickered over all the days, so it works for 2019. But I just use this as like a um, future planner. So I put in doctor's appointments and birthdays and travel dates, uh, other appointments, things like that. On the sides here, I've started trying to keep track and like better utilize my credit cards, cash back rewards. So, you know, a lot of them have the revolving categories. I've started writing those in there by month. And yeah, so it's nice to, I this, I don't think really, I could have really like, cut down or punch nor what I really wanted to so it's nice to be able to still keep that with me it just fits right in the back all right and that is it thank you so much for watching and like I said any tips please comment would love to hear thank you bye